everybody, this is Wayne. See you again. Welcome to Virtual Spiritual Saturday. Today we will cook Emma Dakshi. Emma Dakshi is a Bhutanese uh, cuisine. It's already with very simple ingredients, only chili and cheese. Actually, Emma means uh, chili and Dakshi means cheese. Actually, uh, this is quite a common and you can say a traditional and national dish of uh, Bhutan. And in Bhutan's uh, market, they have a lot of chilies, uh, different type of chilies. Uh, we have a uh, chili body here, but that side they will have a green chili, or uh, white white chili and green chilies, and they love to have a uh, spicy food. Even for children, they will train up their children since young to eat spicy dishes. And for cheese, uh, of course, in uh, normally we have this uh, processed cheese or cottage cheese or mozzarella we will use uh, for today's uh, dish. Normally for this dish, uh, in Bhutan, they will use their own type of cheese. And normally it's not one type. Normally you will have, you will have uh, different types put inside. Chili as well, so that you will have a uh, different layer di different levels of uh, spiciness uh, different taste of cheese inside this uh, simple dish actually this di dish is very simple you need only first of course is chili you use two types today and curry tomatoes and onion some cooking oil, butter, and water. Just now, as I mentioned, it's a simple dish, but there are variations. Means that this dish you can add on, like you can put on some potato or you can put uh, some add in some mushroom so that if you make another uh, different type of uh, variation of the Emma Dakshi so today we will only do the basic or basic of the Emma Dakshi and then maybe you have time then you can add on and can add on the dishes that you like okay now we start with uh, for the ingredient I will share it, uh, on the Facebook the ingredient actually is a uh, chili you need 220 grams this chili body you need only two and uh, six grams actually for this uh, you call what big sizes of the chilies you can use a uh, uh, jalapenos it's not so spicy and this chili body of course is a uh, more spicy and for onions you need only six, 70 grams tomato will be 50 grams cheese we will need uh, 75 grams of course if you like a lot of you like it more cheesy you can put you can put more and for butter you need only 50 grams and vegetable or cooking oil Seven grams. Now it's water. Water only you need uh, two hundred and fifty grams. Of course you can eat some salt, but have to remember that uh, cheese normally is a bit salty. So that maybe it's good that you add on salt only after you taste it. Okay, now we can start with cutting our ingredients. Tomato we will cut into cube.
and for onion we will cut into slices and for garlic normally we will chop uh, you will chop the onion in a big chop and this chili actually I have pre-cut it for onion you cut into slices like this and this garlic and our chili this is our tomato and this is our chili buddy so it's quite a simple dish and then it's really between um, less than half an hour then you can prepare your lunch or dinner now we can start with heating up the stove Something wrong with my stove. Okay, here we go. So first we will put our uh, onion. Later, we will put some tomato and garlic. Of course, of the chili. chili buddies I think I need to change the pot My pot is not feeling happy today, okay? This morning still okay, but not now. Okay, never mind. I just change it. And we add on some oil. Okay, I think it's not with the pot, it's with the induction cooker. I will change to the other side to cook. Later, I will show you.
finally. Okay. And then you need to put the water inside. As you can see, it will be like this. So you just leave it for with medium heat for 15 minutes. Actually for Bhutan people, they stay in their, their weather is quite cold, especially during winter. If you are eating this kind of spicy dishes, it will be very good to warm up your body, especially during olden days. You do not have uh, those modern uh, heater at home installed, so it will be very good to heat up your body. And even though in Malaysia we are our weather is not that hot and it's quite warm, but we share the same things with Bhutanese people is we love hot and spicy food that's why I think uh, maybe you guys will like uh, these dishes for Malaysian and then it's easy and then the ingredient is uh, you can get it easily if you want to, to cook uh, faster you can cover it uh, with the lid also. Actually, not only uh, Bhutanese the love Emma Dachi. Actually, uh, northeast of uh, India and not Nepal people. They love uh, this dish also. Of course, uh, people who like uh, hot and spicy food, you definitely like this. When I first taste this uh, Emma Dak Si uh, cooked by uh, cooked by someone from uh, from uh, Nepal, it's very spicy and it's very cheesy as well. And just now I mentioned that there are variations, and it's good that if you want to have a thicker thicker, it's not so soupy one thick the. You would like it to be thicker, you can add in some potato. So that you slice the potato, peel it and then slice the potato and put in. So it will be good. Or you like mushroom, you can put in uh, some fresh or dry mushroom as well. So it will be quite a easy way to cook. And then normally we will go with, uh, for, for Bhutanese, they will go with red rice uh, or timo. So here you can go with your either your basmati rice or your brown rice or white rice or your bun, your steamed bun or even I have cooked this one with uh, pasta you can cook eat it with your noodles either your ban mein or, or your angel hair anything you like So I will add some more water because it's a, a bit dry.
it will cook until uh, either 15 minutes or when the vegetables are soft but not disintegrate Later, we will put add in some cheese and butter. Hi, I, I see uh, Shin is, Pastor Shin is here, Cindy is here, and Joy is here. Hi everyone. And I saw Sharon also, and Jacinta, JC Go, JP. Alice and Phoebe and waiting as well oh and Pastor David okay now we can off off it and we add in our butter and this is a Actually, it will be good. We we'll put some cheese. This processed cheese. Some people will add in a uh, blue cheese. They like a strong taste, or cottage cheese, cottage cheese, or other cheese that you like. If you add in mozzarella cheese, it will be really, uh, it will be quite uh, sticky. And it's better you eat it while it's hot if you add in mozzarella cheese. Question. Now you see it will be look like this. And you will stir it well, then it can be served. Question, no question. Why? Why? No question. Hmm? Me and JP. Can okay, see? JP is asking what cheese is the best for this dish. Normally, uh, traditionally, they will eat uh, not only one type. Will be few type of cheese. Uh, normally, they will add their own type of those uh, important their soft cheese uh, the texture will be a bit like ricotta cheese or cottage cheese so uh, here today I eat on I, I add in uh, processed cheese and this uh, mozzarella cheese it will be good to add in more than one type of cheese so that uh, the taste will be on not only very flat is a uh, one type it will be good and then it still depends on your personal preference like me uh, I like cheese but not at the moment not blue cheese so I won't add in uh, blue cheese but some people like it you can add on add in this one and Pastor David is asking 
can't see person doing food right? If you don't if, if you don't use cheese, what can you use? If you, you don't use cheese. Replace cheese. Is it uh, possible? If you don't use cheese, uh, because this uh dish the name is chili cheese. If you don't use cheese uh, I never cook it without cheese, but if you like it not so you are you if you can accept a uh, soupy one soupy type of this uh, dish then it won't call emma dakshi so you can maybe add in some uh, butter and milk i never try it but you can try it i think it'll be good it'll be nice because it's spicy at the same time creamy okay maybe pastor david next time you try and then you let her know no more questions one more question uh pastor shin asking have you tried cooking with dry chilies will it works i never tried it to cook with dry chilies i don't think it wouldn't work so but the taste of a dry chili i think will be different from the fresh one the fresh chili, like the green chili and the red color one, the freshness you can taste for this dish. The dry chili maybe is uh, a bit more normally I cook is uh, a bit more spicy and I think the taste will be different, but it still works. Theoretically. Hmm. Got more questions? Joy. It, uh, Joy is asking, can we make this sauce thicker? If so, add what to make it thicker? Okay. As I mentioned just now, we can add, we can add in potato to make it thicker, or you add in more cheese. Actually, there are variation of this emma dark cheese. Some people make it as like a really thick, like a. Uh, not soupy one like sauce then they will support on their roti and then eat as breakfast but i never tried that before i like soupy type so but you can try that is uh, one of the ingredients i can think of is a uh, potato if you want to make it a uh, there are few type of the potato i think this type is a uh, you call what kolanshi is a uh, either from china or from india but the other type is we use to make it uh, mashed potato. I think that type maybe can make your soup more thick, a bit thicker. I know Joy like uh, uh, not not so much like this uh, soupy type. And Penguin asking that is it good to add in different type of chili also? Yeah, of course. So that uh, what if you use only chili body? The taste you have will be only very spicy and not not many people can eat so so spicy and only one for me is a is very flat it's one level of the taste the spiciness you you can add, add in like green chili actually the taste of green chili and the red one actually will be much different and there are many different type of chilies actually in the market some is very slim one, some is fat fat one like this. I can't dif differentiate, but I think they are different. You call what? Uh, different type of uh, chili. So you, you can add in so that if you you will have a different like uh, jalapeno. It's not so spicy, but it's more crunchy. So if you have different type, different type of a uh, taste inside this dish. I think that's all right so that i will show you guys how it looks after it was cold One more. i turn on the heat again because because i have egg in mozzarella cheese so that now I want to make it uh, more integrate into the soup, so that's why I heat it up. So you, it will be good. It's so hot with mozzarella. Okay. 
okay some of you might not able to see so when it was cool it will be like this the color will be like a bit orange color yellow orange color the red color actually come from the chilies normally they use green chilies and the the other colors come from our cheese so it will look like this it's quite hoi white right Cantonese called hoi white then you can eat with rice or timor I have a uh, heat up some timor Okay, you either eat with Timo, it's the steam bun that uh, last week we, we we use. And you can eat with uh, normally Bhutanese they eat with uh, red rice. Here you can of course uh, any rice that you like or some noodles. Okay, maybe we can try question, okay? Uh, Joy is asking yes the the potato I the potatoes I mentioned is a uh, you call what russet potatoes. What other ingredients or veggies can we add into? Maybe you can add in a uh, capsicum. It's one type of chili also, and then it's not spicy. Maybe it's good for those cannot take so spicy. Emma dark sheep or some small cakes or senior citizens or someone with a not so good stomach they will have gastric if they they are taking too much uh, spicy or chili body yes uh, Alice mentioned that she likes capsicum yes you can put capsicum Hi Cindy, you can eat with your uh, pasta. Cindy like pasta, okay? So maybe then we can try our Emma Dachi with some rice. We will serve it in this bowl and then you guys can have a look. You can see, see so it's so sticky because of the mozzarella cheese. Everyone likes cooking but not cleaning up, okay? <laughs> Maybe you can have a look. See the color is so nice. Let me check whether the it tastes good as well. Oh, it's so spicy. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys enjoy today's session and then start making your Emma Dakshi with a uh, different type of uh, ingredients either with uh, add in some mushroom potato or any veggie that you can try and error and if you like it um, okay I will see you guys next week and then if you have some questions then you can post on our comment section. Okay, thank you.